Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue, and in this video, we're going to modify a Pieta 1860 Army revolver so the uh, bullet plunger can accept Johnson & Dow conical bullets. Well, ever since Era's Gone Bullet Mold Company has come out with their historically accurate line of conical bullets, uh, like this Johnson & Dow 44, there's been a lot more interest in shooting conical bullets and in shooting historically correct paper cartridges out of cap and ball revolvers like this 1860 Army. Now the fact is with 1860 Armies whether it's a uh, Uberti like this one or a Pieta like this one they require some modification in this area to be able to load conicals and to load paper cartridges. And with an Uberti, it's pretty straightforward that you're just going to open up this area. But with a Pieta, there's another step, and I've told you this before. And that's because <clears throat> Uberti plungers like this one are made to fit conical bullets. Right? So they are conically shaped inside. Whereas Pieta plungers, like this one, are made for round balls. They have an almost flat face, and they just uh, mash conical bullets' noses flat. They totally deform them. So, the usual solution for me is to remove this piece from a Pieta and replace it with the comparable Uberti piece. It just takes a little bit of fitting. Works fine. But I've gotten lots and lots of comments from you guys saying, well, can't I just make this fit a conical bullet myself? And the answer is, yeah, you can. But this costs less than 20 bucks, so I think it's a cost-effective solution. But I get so many questions about this, I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, it's, it's not really that difficult, but it is a little bit of a pain in the butt. So let me give you the rundown. All right, the best way to make one of these fit one of these is with a milling machine. But I'm assuming you don't have one. I don't have one. So that means we have to go with the red, redneck engineering method. And, and that is fairly simple. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to drill that cavity out on a drill press and then we're going to have to smooth out the resulting ridges uh, with with one of these stones. Now you really only need three drill bits to do this. Uh, a 7 32nds, a 1 quarter, and a 5 16 That said, I'm going to start with a 5 32nd and work my way up. Uh, even though the first three drill bits are going to drill to the same depth. I'm just going to keep opening the hole up. But it's easier to do it if you start a little bit smaller. And I'm going to give you, I've, you can see I've got the tape on here. I've marked the depths I have to go to on all these. And I'm going to put this on a chart for you right now so you can see what the rundown is on these three bits. And if you want to start smaller, uh, just use a 7 seconds depth for all of these smaller bits and you will be fine. These are the three drill bit diameters that you're going to need. Uh, and like I say, I, I start two drill bit sizes smaller, two thirty seconds smaller, and then work my way up. And you can see you're not drilling very far. I mean, about a quarter of an inch is as deep as you're going. So you should use a caliper or a micrometer to mark these. Uh, and and then don't go any farther than that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to center punch uh, my Pieta rammer. And because this is concave, it's actually fairly easy. In fact, because the machining marks are all pretty much still there, it's pretty easy to find the center. So I'm going to give it a good whack, and that will give me a starting place to be able to start drilling. All right, so I've got everything set up on the drill press. I'm going to start off by drilling with a number one center drill because drill bits tend to walk around, even if you've got a good center punch to start with. So what you want is a good guide hole, and these center drills will allow you to get that. 
And they, they look basically like this, almost like a countersink with a little drill on the end. This one's a number two. I'm going to start with a number one, then I'm going to go to a number two, and then I'll be able to start using my high speed drills. So let's just run this down. All right, the number two center drills give me a good opening position now to be able to start my 530 seconds drill bit. So I'm gonna drill that one to depth. All right, now the 3 sixteenths. Well, now the real work starts. I'm using the 730 seconds bit. All right, now I got the one quarter bit and I'm gonna be doing a shallower cut. Now the last bit is uh, 5 sixteenths, and this is a very shallow cut. Okay, I think you can see in there now that that's a series of steps. We're going to have to get that ground smooth into just a uh, smooth cone. And this will be the uh, the tool to do that job. I'm running the grinder on the drill press to start with because I can get better control on it but I'll probably have to finish it by hand. Okay well this whole process took less than an hour and just so you can see here is an unmodified Pieta rammer, right? That just smash that bullet. Here is an Uberti rammer, right? Which cups it beautifully. See that one? Not good. And here is our modified Pieta rammer. As you can see, that that cups it exactly like the Uberti does. I I put a line on the bullet where the Uberti goes in and just to see I'm going to exactly the same spot with the Pieta. So if you don't have 20 bucks kicking around in your pocket but you've got a drill press and, and I would not try this without a drill press then uh, you can take your Pieta rammer and modify it for conicals. Not hard. Uh, just takes a little bit of time. All right, so I hope that answers the questions. See you next time. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content on the channel and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We'd really love to have you on board. And if you'd like to support the channel financially so we can continue to bring you the kind of content that you like, then please visit my Patreon page. And if you have the means, I'd be very grateful if uh, you would support the channel so we can keep on making videos. As most of you know, uh, we're not getting much revenue from YouTube these days. They've demonetized most of my videos. So in order to cover costs, Patreon is pretty much the way it's got to be. So if you can be a patron, uh, thank you very much. And if you already are a patron, I really appreciate it, and you're helping to keep this stuff going. So, thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.